Papua New Guinea has signed a defense pact with the United States, giving American forces access to its airfields and ports as Washington wise uh, with China's expanding footprint in the Pacific region. Washington has growing concerns about China's rise in the Pacific, where it is trying to woo nations with an array of diplomatic and financial incentives in return for strategic support. Papua New Guinea's defense minister inked the deal with the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken uh, before the start of the U.S. meeting with leaders of 14 South Pacific Island states in the capital port, Morrisby. Ali Shamkhani has stepped down as Iran's top security official. This comes two months after signing a China broker deal with Saudi Arabia to end the political rift. Shamkhani, who was appointed the Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council in 2013, served as Defense Minister under the two term reformist uh, President Mohammad. Uh, Khatami from 1997 to 2005, Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi has appointed Revolutionary Guards Commander Ali Akbar Ahmadinejad as the country's top security official. Russia is continuing its offensive in the Dinko region, striking military and infrastructure facilities as well as emergency facilities. At least eight people have been wounded in the latest air raids, while Ukraine has said that its air defenses have brought down 20 Russian drones and four cruise missiles. Massive fire destroyed Manila's historic post office building overnight and according to firefighters, the fire started before midnight in the basement of a neoclassical five-story building and was brought under control this morning, more than seven hours after it began. One person has reportedly been injured in the blaze. An investigation is underway to determine the cause of the fire and what caused the damage. The neoclassical building was constructed in 1926. It was declared an important cultural property by the Philippine National Museum. Volvo Group says its unit Volvo Trucks plans to sell a thousand electric trucks to Swiss Building Solutions provider Holcim for delivery over the next seven years. This is the biggest order ever for Volvo electric trucks, according to Volvo Group. The first 130 trucks, the heavy electric Volvo FH and Volvo FM models, will be delivered during the fourth quarter of 2023 and throughout 2024. Authorities on the French Indian Ocean island of Mayotte have begun demolishing homes in a large slum in the operation against substandard housing and illegal migration. France has deployed hundreds of police officers in Mayotte uh, since April to prepare a major security measure called Operation Wong Bushu or Take Back the Local Life. Vietnam's National Assembly has opened its 2023 summer season. It is the first session for the Vietnamese President Won Va Thuong since uh, he was sworn in in March. The session is being held in 22 working days until June 23rd with eight draft laws to be considered and approved by lawmakers. The European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and the European Council President Charles Michel met South Korean President Yoon Suk Neol. In Seoul, the two discussed ways in which the bilateral ties can be strengthened as both sides mark 60 years of the EU-South Korea diplomatic relations this year. The leaders at the 10th EU-South Korea summit are expected to discuss their wide-ranging strategic partnership in security, trade and sustainable development. And according to the Council of European Union, these matters will be discussed at length. Foundations for closer ties. 
뉴스의통보와 집행위원장 두 분께서 A double amputee Gurkha soldier veteran has reached the top of Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. Hari Magar, who lost both his legs in Afghanistan, reached the mountain summit on Friday. He started his history making the climb on the 17th of April, 13 years since he lost his legs in an IED explosion. The Greek Conservative Prime Minister has called for new elections possibly on June 25th, the day after securing a broad but inconclusive victory. Meeting the President, uh, he said that there was no possibility of forming a new government under the current parliament. And Mitsotakis' uh, New Democracy Party won 40% of the vote versus 20% of the leftist Syriza Party under a new voting system. He failed to win the outright votes, getting 146 seats in the 300-member parliament, below a threshold of 151 lawmakers to govern the country alone. <laughs> The European Union privacy regulators have imposed a record $1.3 billion fine on Facebook owner Meta platforms. Meta has been fined for its handling of user information. It has been given five months to stop transferring users' data to the United States. Meta said in a statement that it will appeal the ruling and seek a stay on the orders through the courts. Ukraine has uh, reconnected Russia-occupied Zaporizhzhia nuclear power plant to its external power supply. A brief outage left the plant reliant on its emergency generators. Backup diesel generators had earlier kicked in at the plant to ensure nuclear fuel was kept cool and prevent a potential disaster while Russia claimed Ukraine had disconnected a power line. The Ukrainian state nuclear agency company said the power outage was caused by Russian shelling. The six reactors need a constant supply of electricity to keep the nuclear fuel inside cool and prevent a possible meltdown. The Vatican has said that the Pope Francis will travel to Portugal from the 2nd to the 6th of August to attend the World Youth Day and visit the shrine of Fatima, the World Youth Day. Uh, a, a global gathering of uh, young Catholics is being held in Lisbon uh, and popes traditionally attend the event and celebrate the final mass. The Vatican said that Pope Francis would uh, also travel to the shrine of Fatima in central Portugal on the 5th of August. Firefighters in the Canadian province Alberta are responding to a large wildfire in the east settlement area. Authorities hope cooler temperatures and showers forecast for the coming week will help firefighters battle blazes in the oil-rich province. However, storms could complicate the efforts. Over 2,800 firefighters from Canada and the United States were battling about 91 active wildfires on Saturday. The wildfires have triggered air quality alerts in some areas. Oh, fuck. Eyewitness footage has captured thick air ash clouds covering uh, Puebla City in central Mexico from the nearby volcano. The volcano has been active since 1994 and is closely monitored by scientists, cameras and sensors because of the danger of millions living nearby. Earlier this week, several towns closed schools due to the volcanic ash and Mexico City's international airport halted operations for more than five hours on Saturday while several flights were delayed and others cancelled.
Italy's Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni pledged to support the recovery of a flood hit areas of uh, northern parts of the country. Meloni returned early from G7 uh, in Japan to see the damage firsthand. She went inside people's homes to inspect the damage in the region where the floods had killed, have killed 14 people and caused damage to an estimated uh, worth billions of euros. Meloni said that she was uh, impressed by the resilience of people and their courage as they face the prospect of cleaning up their homes partially submerged in flood waters. Climate activists in Rome turned the legendary Trevi Fountain waters uh, black to protest against the government subsidies to fossil fuel. Protesters poured what they said was vegetable charcoal into the fountain at the bottom of the city's Spanish steps. Police removed the activists from the water in front of the group of uh, Romans and visitors. The group linked to the protests have organized several acts of civil disobedience in Italy and have sprayed some of the works of art and blocked some highways as well in the past. The Indian Med Department has issued a heatwave warning for multiple parts of North India including New Delhi, the national capital region. This after four weather stations in the city reported temperatures crossing 45 degrees Celsius as per the IMD. A weather station in southwest Delhi recorded the highest maximum temperature on Sunday at 46.3 degrees Celsius. The IMD further predicted that Rajasthan, South Haryana, southern parts of Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab, Chandigarh and the Gangetic West Bengal region will reel under heat wave conditions on Monday as well. The Brazilian President Lula da Silva said during a press briefing in Hiroshima that a meeting with the Ukrainian President Zelensky on the sidelines of the G7 summit in Japan did not happen because Zelensky was late. The President called for both Ukraine and Russia to stop the war. He also said that G7 or G20 is not a space to discuss war but it is only the United Nations. Young Iraqis uh, row a flotilla of traditional wooden boats down the Tigris River in Baghdad, celebrating an ancient nautical heritage in the now drought-stricken country. Once a common sight across Iraq's rivers, the traditional boat has long been vastly outnumbered by modern motorized vessels. Those working to preserve the traditional boating culture in the country say that they must save uh, them for extinction, extinction as essential facet of their civilization which has existed for four to five millennia. The tomb of a pre-Columbian Chanhail leader uh, dating between 1200 and 1470 years old have, has been discovered by a group of archaeologists on the north coast of Lima. The discovery occurred this week as at an archaeological site in the province of Ural, about 75 kilometers north of Lima. Researchers had to carry uh, the dig and dig the earth for two months to find the tomb of the important figure of the Chanke culture.